Hi guys, today we'll be making this uh, geometry uh, sand casting component. Uh, we'll be making this uh, completely into Fusion 360. First of all, let us analyze the complete drawing, what the drawing uh, looks like and uh, how it could be made in a very swift and fast manner. Uh, the component is more prominent in the top view and less in the front and sides. So we'll be carving the top view first and then we'll be shaping it uh, in front and vice versa. So this is the component and this is the top view. Let us first see what the thing is. Let us consider this point as 0, 0 that is the origin of Fusion 360 and let us build everything around this point. Okay, so considering this as origin, I'll be starting with this point. So let us say this origin from this offset, we should go by 100 over here so that we can locate the center of this 100 over here and above by 40. So 100 here and 40 and the diameter of this circle is uh, the outer one is R35. So I'll say sketch, I'll say top view, I'll say circle. Sorry, firstly, I'll be making a construction line over here from this point. So that I have my reference references corrected this way. Okay. What I need now is this is R35. Okay. So I'll be making this as 70, right? Then I'll be making a circle which is over here. Dimension of the circle from this point should be 100, and this will be 40. Now I'll be mirroring this completely this from this point to this point say okay again I'll say that these dimensions are fixed no more a construction line line from this point to this point we'll be making a tangent again I'll be saying tangent this to this this way I'll make it a strong dimension mirroring it to this point this way again I'll be saying a arc in spite of circle from this point to this point and uh, we'll be making this way the tangency to this before that what I'll do is I'll fix it right click fix 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 this as well let us make all the dimensions strong before doing any operation dimension of this is R 200 so D it's 200 mm okay this also goes now in a strong manner this also is a strong dimension now we have completed this complete outer lamina right I will say trim this way this way this way this way I don't need this I don't need this okay so uh, but still I guess uh, these are not tangents over here we'll make it first because it is supposed to be tangent some of the either thing is wrong I'll refix this complete thing before fixing it this is a tangent this two is a tangent and now it is 200 in this way I can directly in spite of trimming I can directly even extrude it or uh, better way we will trim it trim 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 so that uh, the sketches no more confuses and the complete height is 860 now what we will be doing is uh, in spite of extruding it in the uh, uh, later sketch I will be making the complete geometry in the single sketch over here so let us see what is this dimension this is something uh, 50 so circle this is 550 that is 50 over here circle this is again 50 over here or in spite I will uh, just do one thing I will be making a parallel line of this by an offset of uh, Forty-eight line this way. Say, I'll say parallel. This line is parallel to this one. This way, and this is forty-eight. Okay, so this is the way what I have done. I'll make it a construction line. I'll offset it by 
this is r 1.5 that means it is uh, 0.75 offset over here 0.75 this way and offset minus 0.75 this way okay again i'll be saying circle from this point to oh, sorry i can say circle this way say two point and i'll select from this point to this point i'll trim this I'll trim this even this as well as this and this even so i have this geometry completely right this geometry what i'll be doing is right now i'll be selecting all of them and i'll in one stroke i'll be mirroring all of them for you so this is my geometry this is my geometry now let us make these also let us make this circle this is a circle the mid circle is of uh, 524 24 this is of 24 okay the middle one the, this one this one is the 524 okay i'll be making offset of this by 7 r7 it is 207 and 200 zero. so that that is supposed to be 7 mm it's it's it, it, 3.8 it would be mm, okay it's given as 7 i'll take it as 7 because it's radius mentioned over here offset it by 15 offset cannot be an offset of a geometry inclusion so it is rejecting my plea so in spite of that i'll be saying offset by 17 plus 15 that is 22 right i'll create an offset of 16 over here I'll make all these lines construction lines I select this I select this I select this one so okay this is the way what I have done offset it by 7 plus 7.5 7 that is 14.5 here so that I can get a center over here of that circle circle or circle over here circle over here I, I hope that this completely goes tangent to this thinking over it it's taking its time I don't know what happened but anyways it's done this and this it's again taking time I guess aligning all the geometries and fixing all the bugs it takes taking time no ways I'm waiting for it to happen yes and now let's see what uh, the trimming shows up first of all uh, before the complete uh, application resumes back what I'll be doing is I'll be making these dimensions strong I, I don't want this I don't want this I, I just want these dimensions to be strong okay here I can trim now this is no needed this isn't needed this isn't needed this isn't needed this yes this is an area this is an area so we have a sketch 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 okay M much more time we are spending in creating the sketch so that we spend less time modeling the rest of the things okay now this is this pitch is uh, 80 so i could say offset by 40 over here and so it is placed over here this is 40 and uh, i'll offset this as well by 20 that's minus 20 so I get one center of here that is of uh, 10.5 this this the circle that's 10.5 I'll make it strong I'll select I'll uh, mirror it this way from this point okay this one this one so we have these geometries over here what I'll be doing is I'll be making this also right now it's an offset of 8 mm okay so it's minus 8 all right okay this is 52 so i'll be saying offset by 52 that's minus 52 over here so this is my corner over here okay and uh, 
here it is r 6 4 by r 6 4 should be the fillet and uh, I will say line over from this point to this point ok we should come out of the construction mode making them I will take a fillet over here in between this is 6 right I do not know this I do not want this line now so this is R6 and uh, from the offset this is 13 let us see there is a line over here from this point to this point ok and I offset this by minus 13 ok this way and I will offset this by 15 over here I will extend this line this line as well and this line as well line from this point to this point so this is one more sketch that I had developed but the radiuses are quite uh, 4 by R6 so all the fillet fillets are of 6 radius ok so let us say 6 this one and this one control and I will be pressing all three of them same time it is pretty a uh, heavy geometry ok this is 6 again it's, it should be fixed so it is a fixed dimension it should not move 6 this even this should be fixed so it does not lose its position 6 ok it is pretty fine now this as well as this should be 6 again Uh, it's weird that my computer is taking a bit longer than normal but even then we have to proceed with the I guess it's a graphic issue something or ok anyways we have completed the total thing now what we have to do is we just need to mirror this stuff this one this one sorry this this you did not have to select the ok I will say mirror I hope that everything reflects on the other side no it is not reflecting I guess we should select these lines also these lines are missing mirror select and this one say ok we have very less work after sketching all of them we are, we are really spending actually investing our time so that uh, we can get through the total geometry in one go so I still do not have this thing mirrored I will mirror it first because it is my priority oh yeah, this is my mirror line say so, ok now ok we have completed almost every section that is needed and which is through now we will just select this and we will just say extrude by 60 ok so in one go we have made this complete thing now what we have to do is we have to create this feature ok so what we will be doing is we will be selecting sketch and uh, we will be going in origin and we will be selecting this front plane x y alright this is a line which is a construction line from this point to this point ok we will be starting a geometry from this point we will uh, say offset it by 28 minus 28 ok so I will make one more line which is at the middle over here and I will offset it by 66 from this point from this point ok so this is that construction line I will offset it by 66 right now I will be making one simple line from this point at this point 
uh, I make an angle of out of it. This angle is supposed to be 40. As given over here, this angle is 40. Right. And there is a line of 28 over here that we have made uh, recently. I'll trim this line. I don't need this. Okay. So, so this is what we have created. Okay. I just hide the body. It is making inconvenient to me uh, to, for me to visibility. Okay. So this is the way what we have created. I just mirror this line from this point to this point. Say okay. I don't have. I don't uh, require this line now. I'll have this one. So this is what we have created right now. Uh, we can make it stronger now. I'll just trim what is not required over here. Okay, let it be. This one, this one, this one is supposed to be offset by a dimension of 32. And on the body, yes, it's almost 32, exactly 32. Okay, I'll make it off this way again. I'll offset this line again by 32 from bottom. So minus 32, it meets over here. Trim, I'll trim this, I'll trim this. Sorry. I'll trim this. I'll trim this, I'll trim this, trim this. So this is what I required. I'll select all of them. I'll make all the dimensions over here as a stronger in spite of construction from this point from this point to this point these are lines are no more I just complete these feature lines so something is weird over here this goes from this point to this point to no need of making the construction line on so this way this way this way, this way, and this way. Okay. So we have uh, this complete thing ready now. We just have to do what is extrude symmetric in both sides. Automatically, fusion will select it as a cut. Okay. So this is the way that we have done it okay now filleting this fillet is 20 right these fillets are i should choose this as well these fillets are 19 19 okay this won't happen okay laterly i'll be doing it one thing i can do right now is we can just select and delete these faces okay so right now i don't need them so fill it i'll select this i'll select this this is 19 okay these are 30 all of them These are 30. In this way. Okay. So we've done it. Fill it. I'll say this and this. These are two radius in this way. Yet we are we have not finished over here. These fillets are also you can accommodate everything in one single fillet only. No need to give it again and again and again and again say so, okay we don't have any fillet over here we have fillets over here okay we are going in a exact directions i'll go over here i'll say circle from this point now this is 543 that is 43 this way sketches i'll 543 this way okay actually there is no need to have this fillet so i can i can even extrude it and finish the matter extrude it by minus the depth is 11.
okay so uh, what is happening actually this fillet is intersecting so i'll say edit feature and i'll uh, deselect this i don't want this fillet right now so okay now we can extrude it by minus 11 so that will happen now you can get a fillet and say 2 this way so this has happened actually actually it's not 11 it's 5 sorry this is 5 we, we are s looking at it by the inverted side this is 5 over okay the radius we have given this is over here there is a chamfer over here of uh, there is a chamfer of 2 so we can add a chamfer over here at this point that's a 2 chamfer and this as well as a 2 chamfer but one minute we also have to sketch something over here this is a circle again there is a counter of 50 okay so this is a counter of 50 and that's extrude and this goes by 11 minus 11 okay now these things have to be chamfered chamfer this is 2 so these are the two chamfers what i placed it over here again i can say edit feature i can select this chamfer as well so these are the two chamfers what we have done okay yet my sketches oh yeah I, i'll just make on the first sketch and uh, i have this complete body over here i go in that sketch i select these things again and uh, i'll see extrude cut okay what we need to do right now is we come out of the sketch this way again what i need to do is i need to create a new sketch i'll come over here and uh, this time we'll say p and p okay and select these and say extrude to dimension of this through okay this way now again what i need to do is i need to go and sketch again below a circle p and p circle okay click it open it the dimension is uh, 522 and 22 here itself also even i can mirror them i won't take much time doing this and this is you need not have to select this you just have to select this this it's not getting selected extrude by 28 trying to counter more i can just mirror this in spite of creating all the things again and again i can just say mirror it is mirror yes here it is mirror i'll select this say okay this way i have made it okay mm -hmm. you can look at it this way okay now we have to do the last rights of this thing this is the thing what i need to make okay it's not the last i also need to make this total oh yeah okay so let me say um, i'll just close off this sketch i don't need it anymore i'll click it i'll say p this one okay now see what the thing is i'll say p this one also i need to create a circle of r33 that is 35 and 33 so this should be r33 into 2 this is the circle line from this point to vertical wave 
this way and line from this point to this point both of the lines should be construction trimming them from this point right and this is the line which i'm supposed to make a strong dimension and this is the line which i'm supposed to make a stronger either line from this point to this point this is it's a tangent trimming them i'll just make the body off right now okay i need to offset it by minus 2 okay line again i'll just make these lines parallel some of the either thing is problematic over here i'll say coincident but i don't need this i need this and this okay i'll make this tangent to this right but it's not happening it's not giving me a closed loop it's not coincident we will be making these points coincident I said trim. I don't need this right now. Okay. So here it goes. Here is the problem. Okay. I need to extend this. I need to make a make an arc over here. I said trim this one and make a tangent this to this. It's not happening. I want exact circle over here. So I can't compromise this way. I need to make a circle this way. And then I can trim it. Okay. So this is the loop which I'm supposed to make. I'll make my body. See, it's very complex. Uh, the geometry is a bit uh, complex. It seems easy, but it's not. I'll say extrude. Now you need to say offset plane, and uh, you need to start. This is total 32, and this is 17. The difference between uh, 32 and 17 is uh, something 15. Okay, so uh, the difference is 15 by 2. That is 7.5. So I'll say 7.5 offset from the 7.5 plane, and from that point is 17. It should go up. So this is the cut. What I'm supposed to create this way. I can simply, you know, uh, mirror this geometry to this point and say, okay, I have done it this way. This is the way what I have done it. Okay. Now the only thing what is remaining with me is now creating these slots over here. Okay. Before that, what I I'll be doing is I'll say construct. I'll create an axis through cylinder this one either this one say okay even i i can just uh, no issues we can just create a sketching plane of this this is my projection over here so from this point i need to go at distance of minus 33 oh sorry minus 33 it should be over here this way and Again, I will be saying this as a projection. Okay, line from this mid to this point. Again, this should be the construction line. A circle over here. The circle's dimension is uh, by 14, so it is 14 over here. And say extrude it by dimension of 10. That's minus 10. Okay. So here it goes again i'll be saying okay sketch create a sketch over here see this way circle this way and it is uh, if i eight so this is eight and this goes at a depth of this is at a depth of 47 how come Okay, it's at a depth of 47. 
minus 47 okay so this is the way what we have created now again what I need to do is I need to mirror this features to this point again I hope that this geometry is completed now okay so you can have a close look over here you can just see this complete geometry is being followed I don't know whether the bases are having fillet or not yes they are having fillets over here this this it's two yes else nothing is having a fillet over here even this is having a fillet so the drawing should be complete and they should be well designed you can just see have a look at the product i just saw, turn off the origin you can just have a look and uh, we can even um, uh, analyze the things so yeah you can drop section analysis by this you can just have a look over here um, this is I'm not happy just making it the way it looks okay the uh, geometry is tilted this way okay this way and uh, well anyways uh, we have escaped the section and then I would say section analysis again and uh, I could say this one you can just have a look over the sections and uh, I have completed this with all the parameters okay so here is the object and thanks a lot for watching I hope you have learnt many things which uh, you might not be knowing and uh, please subscribe the channel uh, as uh, I am going to deliver I am going to explain many much more things on this channel so stay tuned and please subscribe. Thanks a lot.